y'all. Welcome back to Poplar Creek Farm. I got my first seed order today. So I'm going to open this seed for you, this uh, seed order for you guys. And I am also going to do this every time I order um, or every time I receive seeds over the next week, week and a half. Uh, I should be getting most of my seed orders other than a few things that were out of stock that should be coming back in stock. Um, so it's going to end up being one video, but it's going to be from about a week of time. So this is my first seed order that I've received, and this is from Fruition Seeds. I'm not surprised this is the first one I received because they're about two hours from me. That's one of the reasons I order from them is because they are local. So let's see. It's funny. I just ordered my seeds over the weekend, and I still don't even remember all of what I ordered from Fruition. I know I ordered my cucumbers from them because they have wonderful cucumber seeds that um, grow just amazing in our climate. And that might be most of what this is because I ordered larger quantities of everything this year instead of ordering a lot of variety. So, huh, I'm so excited. And I ordered some for my mom too, some seeds, so. Seeds. Okay. Zucchini. Haifa's finest is what it's called. Um, if you've never like looked up the story of this seed, um, I think it's really amazing. Basically, a husband and wife moved from the Middle East and were really disappointed in what uh, zucchini was in the United States. And so initially, they found a seed company that had zucchini that they liked um, until that seed company discontinued it. So they went to fruition to see if they could grow this seed for them um, or you know, get the seed or get the, the type of uh, zucchini that they liked from... Um, whatever company it was that had it before and they did and they they've bred it since then um and they so it was I, I believe it was um not open pollinated previously and now it is open pollinated um so it's really really cool but this is delicious and I ordered two of those best zucchini ever I've had so many people buy it from me at the farmer's market and then they would come back and say no you are so right that zucchini is actually really flavorful unlike typical zucchini that are just kind of bland um so like I said, I ordered large quantities of these. So this one is four packets of the New York Slicing 264. Um, this is, it's technically a pickling cucumber, or I'm sorry, technically a slicer, obviously slicing, but it is great for pickling. It is a smaller um, cucumber. It's delicious, grows wonderful. This cucumber outproduced every cucumber I grew in the garden. Uh, it was the blight or the powdery mildew resistant. Um, it did great with, so it grew from the time I sewed it, obviously it took a little while to take off, but then it, it grew wonderful until pretty much our last frost. It produced in pretty much until, or I'm sorry, until our first frost of the fall. It produced forever. So that alone is amazing. Um, but also every other cucumber I, I had, even one on the same, so I had an arch trellis and I had these on one side and another, um, I think it was Mark Moore on the other side. And the market more got diseased, had all the powdery mildew or some kind of blight or whatever it was. And this one right across from it, which is touching it in some parts, did not get it. Amazing. Anyways, now get off my soapbox there. Um, Honey Drop, this was a cherry tomato that I started last year and I had multiple people tell me they loved it. Uh, I really liked it. Once I figured out that this is what it was not, I thought initially that the Chadwick cherry was this. And I was like, oh, this is not very good. But once I figured out which ones were actually honey drop, they were delicious. Um, my Italian heirloom, I always get from them because they're wonderful. And then these are for my mother as well as for some for me. And these are sugar snap peas, which are so tasty and produce really, really well. So... Those are all my seeds that I got from this. It's not a lot of variety, but again, a lot of quantity. Um, and that's the thing. It's like, it's going to be a little less exciting because there's not as many varieties of these, these plants that I'm growing this year, but I'm growing more quantity and that's the idea is I don't want to produce so many different varieties that I'm like, I'm not sure which ones I liked or these ones did well and these ones didn't. I'm just growing what I knew, what I know does well um, and what we know that we like, we eat it produces really well for us um, in our area because that's pretty much what's important is if we're going to feed our family, we need things that produce well. And if I'm going to be selling, um, I need things that produce well. So I'll see you guys later this week for more seed unveiling. 
All right, guys, so this is the day after the first part of this video, and I got more seeds. I got two packages from Territorial Seeds, which this is the first time I'm ordering from them, um, but they have large quantities of seeds, and they had a lot of the ones, the varieties that I wanted. Um, and some of these I'm sharing with my mom, so some of these seeds are not like my seeds, just my seeds. Um, guys, so let's go ahead and unbox. Let's see what I got. What do you got? I don't know yet. Open it. All right. And so these are going to be bigger packages of seeds because, again, I ordered large quantities, um, less variety. Oh, yeah. That is butternut squash. Holy yes. moly. Yes. Waltham yes. butternut squash. One pound of seeds. This, okay, keep your head back. This will last me probably two years of seeds, two to three years of seeds. Um, and seeds don't go bad as long as you store them correctly. The germination can go down a little bit, but that's it. Um, and my mom wants a lot of these. My mom loves butternut squash. I want to sell some. They're great for storing over winter. All you got to do is cure them, and then they can store in, like, your basement over winter, and you can have them. They're delicious any time of year. These are the provider green beans. So my yellow beans, which are gold rush beans, aren't going to be – they're not coming in yet because they were out of stock. Um, so I will order gold rush beans once – they come back in stock. I, you know, signed up for the alert. Um, lots of lots of green beans, though. And these were the green beans that we liked last year. I grew two different kinds. I grew Provider and I grew Contender. Um, and Contender, I just didn't like as much flavor-wise. So these ones were were definitely my favorite. Uh, spaghetti squash. This is a quarter pound of spaghetti squash. Again, my mom is paying for some of these um, because she really likes spaghetti squash and another squash that you can just store and eat all winter long. More of the provider green beans. Again, some of these are for my mother as well. Now, these smaller ones are ones that either I didn't need as many of or I am just like, they're a little bit more um, for fun for growing, which are like the lemon uh, cucumbers. I will sell some of these at market, but these are a little bit more for fun. And now they don't have like the pictures of them on the thing, but that's okay. Uh, Mexican sour gherkins, those are really fun to grow. I got parsnips this year. Um, I really like parsnips, and I hadn't had them until my grandmother had cut them up for me one time. They're really good, um, but they're great in soups and things. California Wonder, this is the red pepper that the sweet red pepper that we really liked last year. Um, and again, I just grew, I ordered more of them. So there's, this is two grams of seed versus just like a typical one um, seed packet. And this is loofah, that's one gram because they're really tough to grow, um, but I'm not giving up on them. Oop. Easter egg two radishes. This is like a mixed color radish. This is, an, this is an F1, so this is not one I can save seeds from, um, but it's a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin, um, magic lantern F1. Basically a great one for the kids for picking pumpkins. Oh, no. Kohlrabi. This one was, I think this is my green one. Yeah, because I already have, I have tons of the purple one that I got free seeds from Baker Creek before. Um, I love kohlrabi. Grew it last year for the first time. Really wasn't sure if I would like it. Probably... Other than like tomatoes out of the garden, probably my favorite thing I grow out of the garden. I love them. I love them uh, just sauteed on the oven or on the stove top. They're delicious. Uh, and then this is a delicata, bush delicata squash, um, which is actually like that one. That's what it looks like. Sweet meat Hubbard squash. Again, just a winter squash, great for storing um, and great for selling because it's something I can grow in the winter or grow in the summer pick, store, and sell throughout the winter months as well. Um, and just another radish, Nile radish. This is a red radish. All right. And then that's just the packing slip. Just leave it. I got some red noodle beans, which are the really long, skinny beans. They're supposed to be really good for sauteing. Um, the reason I actually bought these is where I live uh, and where I sell at farmer's markets there is a large population of um, migrants, of immigrants, and people who, uh, refugees who have come here. And this is actually something that they grew nat like in their country. Um, I saw them in different areas of the city when I, I work in the, um, I work in, I go to people's homes, and I would see the people growing these. And so I thought it would be something fun to bring to market, something different, and something that those, those 
clientele, those type of um, customers are looking for because it's something that they are accustomed to. Chiogia, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Chiogia, I don't know, beets. It's the red and white stripey beet. Um, I really like those, they're delicious. Zeppo mm. F1, uh, another F1 hybrid. Uh, this is just a red beet. I have three packs of them? No, two packets of these. So, nope. lots. Mm. Nope, they're a little different. And these are like 5,000 seeds is what that is. So that's a lot of beets, but that'll be good for selling. I'll succession sow them. So as I pull some up, I'll sow more because beets will grow well into fall. Those are like cute. Uh, and then a red samurai carrot. Yeah, those are cute. So that is the first box. This is also from Territorial. These might be my flowers because I'm going to try to grow some basic cut flowers. And when I say basic, I mean I am not doing ones that I have to start inside. I am not doing ones that are super fancy. I just want some flowers, partly for my bees, but also partly to try to sell some um, in small bouquets. Um, so these are ones that are just gonna be like in between certain rows. So because I have such a large garden space and I don't wanna overwhelm myself with doing so many plants and so many, um, different vegetables that I can't keep up with them. So I'm gonna do some flowers in between. Again, it'll be great for my bees and it'll great, be great to just um, try to sell some as well. I did a couple mixes. So this is like a bee feed mix, fragrant mix. So some fragrant flowers, sunflowers, couple different ones. Um, so one is like a regular sunflower, one is a, a purple sunflower and one is a white one. Yeah, purple sunflowers. Zinnias, so zinnias are one of the easiest things. Sunflowers and zinnias both are really easy to grow um, and cosmos and those, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing like easy flowers. I'm not somebody who's super well versed in cut flowers. Um, it's not something I wanna get into like full time doing tons of cut flowers, but I figure it's great for bees, it's great for filling some spaces and um, it'll just be fun to have some beauty in the garden too. Um, so these are all zinnias, different zinnias. And obviously, as I grow them, I will show them to you guys, um, show you guys what they actually look like. Because again, these don't have the pictures, and I don't remember all of the ones, like what they look like by the names or anything. I put every one in there. Because it's just easier. Uh, sunflower. This one is a beneficial bug mix, so it's going to attract beneficial bugs. Um, it says it attracts lace wings, lady, be lady beetles, um, sear fid flies, which I've never heard of. Uh, other kinds of wasps that are just, they're gonna attack the you know, pests that are in the garden, which is awesome. And then my favorite flowers, hands down favorite flowers now, to grow at least. Um, I love ostromeriums, but I don't know if I can grow those here or how to grow them or anything like that. So Cosmos. Cosmos I love. So I have a bunch of different Cosmos. And again, I'm not sure what the colors are and stuff on these, but I, I just love Cosmos. They are easy to grow, easy to save seeds from. So I didn't save seeds from this past year because of how much rain we got. Everything was wet all the time, pretty much. You can't save them when they're wet because they'll just end up with mold. Uh, and that's obviously, you don't wanna be spreading that. More sunflowers. Um, these are annual flower tower series mix. So I think this one was one that I want to grow around. We're gonna do a deck this year um, and I want some flowers around there. And again, save seeds from them. And then my Baker Creek order, which Baker Creek I only ordered a few from, or not as many from, because these were ones that Territorial didn't have, um, or I didn't want the larger quantities or whatever of. So, yeah, they didn't have the sugar pie pumpkin. They had a different pumpkin at Territorial, and I like the sugar pie for um, pie pumpkins. This one, a honey nut squash. Territorial had one that I think was similar, but I'm not 100% sure, and I love, love, love the honey nut squash. I love butternut squash, but honey nut squash, flavor-wise, is it's sweeter. Um, they're perfectly sized, so like my kids don't really love squash. My husband will eat it, but I'm really the big squash person, so these ones are ones that are like, they're small, they're delicious. My mother-in-law loved these. She kept stealing them from me. Um, when we had them, the, the one, it was two years ago that we had a ton of them, and oh my gosh, you just, I couldn't keep up with them. They were, they were amazing. 
we tried Chadwick cherry last year for our cherry tomato, red cherry tomato, and I didn't like them. So I'm trying a different one. This one's supposed to be very sweet, which is what I like. Um, I like a nice sweet cherry tomato. So we'll try that. Got some more Dr. Witchies um, because mine didn't grow last year and I want to try to sell them because a lot of people, people kept asking me when they would come to buy seedlings from me if I had a um, yellow slicer because people know that yellow is typically lesser acid and so a lot of people will eat them and tolerate them better than a red tomato. I got more banana. My cat's tail's in my way. Uh, I got more banana peppers because... I love sweet banana peppers. We, I want to grow a lot more of them for um, just snacking. And then I, I need to actually can them this year. But a, pe a lot of people also asked for banana peppers. Paul Robeson, because I was out of my Paul Robeson, I almost forgot to order these. My favorite, favorite tomato that I grow. And um, this was the tomato that Utica Bread bought seedlings of to use on their baked goods. And they loved it. So I want to make sure I have lots of that. Yo, oh, more Dr. Witches. Yellow Monster was the yellow sweet pepper that we grew last year and really liked. And even if, the thing is with these, so because they're such big peppers, it was hard to get them to yellow. Um, but even as green peppers, they grew wonderfully and they were delicious. Nice and sweet, nice and tender. Um, Mini Bell Mix, another great snacking pepper. I really liked them. We grew them that last year and I loved going out there and picking them and eating them while I was out there. So, super fun. Paul Robeson, Mini Bell. Ooh, my free seeds. Oh, cool. I got basil as a free seed. Blue spice basil. Oh, I'm so excited. So it says, especially fine appearance in pots or in the garden, heavy fragrance with spicy vanilla overtones. I'm excited about that one. That was a good one. And St. Valley was my other free seed for Baker Creek. So that's all my seeds that I've gotten. And I think that's actually all of them other than the ones that are going to come um, that are not seeds, that are, so my mom wanted asparagus um, roots or asparagus um, crowns and then rhubarb and there was something else that won't come until more like it's ready to go in the garden. Um, so that is everything. So I think that's, that's all that I've ordered and that's all that's going to be coming. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. It's my seed unboxing. Remember, we're growing today for a better tomorrow. Please like and subscribe and join me on the next one.